All right, how you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. And today I got to be a little careful how I word this. But we're going to be talking about what happened on November 3rd of this year. And I want to start out with this little bit from Twitter. Let's take a listen to this. Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we, we are concerned, concerned about trouble and trying to be responsible. One sided news stories plaguing our country. country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media so who exactly is running the media? I mean, they're saying the exact same words. This, this is, is extremely, extremely dangerous, dangerous to, to our, our democracy. democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our 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 democracy. Look at the sad faces on these people. You don't think this is rehearsed? This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 Okay. I guess the word of the day there was, this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. So what I did was I did a quick search of, is there evidence of this, which cannot be said on this platform? And the first five stories, you, Google completely controls what they'll let you see. New York Times, Washington Post, Washington Post, AP News, and factcheck.org, because you know you can trust them. So I don't want to subscribe or log into this, but here's the first one. Trump's claims died in court, but the myth of the that lives on. For years, Republicans have used the specter of that as a reason to impose barriers to access. I really got to be careful here. This video will not make it. A definitive debunking of claims of that and this <laughs> has not changed that message. Here's the second story. Despite Trump's intense hunt for that, Officials in key states have so far identified just a small number. Just a small number. Don't worry about it. In Pittsburgh, the police department this year received 10 complaints of that. Eight of those have already been closed. It's just hilarious how they control the flow of information nowadays. Here's story number three. There is not and has not been any credible evidence of significant that in that. It seems this guy, his name is Tim Alberta. He's an Illinois Trump supporter. It seems a Republican for president always has to win by a large enough money to overcome the widespread that 
that these guys seem so comfortable with and prone toward. He failed to do that. I thought it remarkable that what I would regard as credible sounding that are getting so little attention. Yeah, it's not remarkable at all. They control the flow of information. Even this guy turned on us. Disputing Trump, Barr says no that. Disputing President Trump's persistent, baseless claims. Attorney General William Barr declared Tuesday the U.S. Justice Department has uncovered no evidence of that that could change the outcome of that. And then the fifth story from this very reliable organization right here. Don't need to question them at all. So they, they, they say there are nine that, and none of them are credible. There's only nine of them. A list of bogus that <laughs> cobbled together from dubious websites. You know, this isn't a dubious website, but anybody else that says something about that is a dubious website. And failed lawsuits aimed at overturning that is spread widely online. I wonder why. It appeared in a recent story published in a publication called The Spectator, which was a very good article. I should have, I didn't think to put that in here. I should have done it. Go to The Spectator and look for it. It's really good. Uh, anyway, they go on and on and on to tell you that there is none of this. There, it just not, doesn't, didn't happen. However, here is something from Cindy Powell that she recently turned over to this Zinger News, a dubious website, according to factcheck.org. This is page one of 270 pages of this. 270 pages. They say there's nine. She turned over 270 pages. Uh-huh. Okay, well, the links will be in the description for all this. You can look through this and see all the stuff that they have come up with. You know, it's a lot more than nine. And then you can remember this. News has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same stories simply aren't true without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda. Some media platforms push their own personal bias and agenda. Boy, I'll say. All right, that's going to do it for this edition of Nameless News. You have a good one.